Hey guys, today on Overhaul, we're redoing the home of Rosanna Pansino, YouTube's most beloved baker. This video will show you what went into the design of Rose Place and her first reactions after seeing it. Whoa, oh my gosh! The mission was to create the perfect space for Rosanna that takes into account all of the different things she does here every day. Rosanna's home is uniquely challenging because it's really a 21st century live workspace. It is a production studio, it is an office, and it is also her home. Having to work around Rose's unique situation made us really think about design in a different way. Her space not only has to be functional, but it has to be really beautiful because it's on camera all the time. My design philosophy is all about personal style. So I wanted to make sure that we really considered what Ro wanted for her space. She's gonna live here, she's gonna work here, she's going to bake here, and I wanted it to be reflective of her. Ro's style is really clean, somewhat minimal, but she likes a little bit of flair. That was sort of our design equation we worked off of, and we added that into every single room we created for her in the house. The first room that I revealed to Ro was the living room, and this is really the heart of their house. It is a workspace, it is a conference room, it is a place where they shoot video, it's a place where they hang out. So I wanted to make sure that when you walk through Ro's door, the first thing you say is, wow. Walking, we're walking, you're not looking. Nope, they're okay. closed, they're closed. Okay, so we're gonna stand right in the middle here so you can okay. take it all in. And now I want you to open your eyes and see your new live workspace. Oh my gosh. In the living room, we did a lot of changes. We put in a really big chandelier. I love this. I kind of fell in love with chandeliers after we did our first music video. I never knew how pretty they were well, until I was right in front of one. Okay, then, well, then we need to see the rest of the house. Oh Let's my keep God. going. <laughs> There's more than one chandelier. There's many. <laughs> oh my God. We styled up her office. Oh my gosh, our, our <laughs> sister's gonna be so excited. I think Ro was really excited about the artwork. She told me that one of the biggest complaints about the space was that it felt like a hospital because there was nothing, there was no color. So we really spent a lot of time and really carefully considered how to put color into the space for Ro. This is sort of a foundation of gray with these great accents of yellow. And it feels sunny, it feels office appropriate, it feels considered and decorated, and it's really happy. Happy wall. The happy wall. The yellow and the happy. We gave her a central lounge area that's convertible. <gasps> I love these. I know you do. I want it to feel like a lobby, a little bit like a hotel, so it's flex, so you can sit on it, you can take it away when you're shooting videos here. It's movable. It's movable, yes, because I know you guys use this space for a million different things. multi So I wanted you to have a million different options. Yes. Some of the things we had to consider were light. Ro could be filming any time of the day, and we need to do unusual things like blackout curtains everywhere. We were able to redo all of Ro's windows and make them controlled by a remote, yes. which is pretty cool. This is exactly what I wanted. The more technology in the house, the better. The better. Now we have editing bay. Boom! I feel like Tony Stark. It's really, really multi-purpose now. Green room is a film term or a television term for the holding room for talent before they go on set. The green room was really fun. It was sort of an unexpected challenge. Ro really wanted to create a space where people that are coming in to collaborate with her can sit and hang out. It's something she wanted to be proud of. We did things like add a mini fridge so that people can get drinks in there, there's snacks everywhere, they can hang out, they don't really have to go anywhere, they can watch a little TV. It feels like a real lounge. Okay, so now you're in your brand new green room. Open your eyes. Oh my gosh. This is so cool but and so different. That's a <gasps> When you're moving into a new space, I think it's important to consider how big it is. You'd be surprised how much stuff you need to actually make something look great. Whoa! It's a giant jack. I love it. I think accessories are really important, and styling your coffee table, believe it or not, is really important because it's what people sit and look at. 
So I wanted to give Ro a bunch of different things that were fun and worked with the room. Oh, but I don't think I can play jacks with it. I don't no, think you can either. I don't even think I should try. A little bit more masculine than some of the other spaces in the house. And so we have some funny things like an oversized jack and some mercury glass accessories, but it really styles the coffee table and pulls it together. The pillows on the couch are very soft. I think this may be one of my favorite pillows. It's squishy and soft. This opens up into a queen size sleeper bed. Yes. So you can have two more people here. We wanted to create something sort of more neutral, a little bit kind of zen. So we have some solid pillows, but they have texture and something that you could sink into and stay. It kind of doubles as a media room because we have a pullout sofa. It doubles as a bedroom. And there's also an editing area in there. You can do a lot of different things in the green room now. It's not just a green room, it's like a, an everything room. Upstairs, we were really thinking about Rose private space. And so upstairs, the colors and the design is a little quieter. It's very tranquil, it's kind of zen. So I want Ro to really feel that transition when she leaves the sort of chaos and energy of her live workspace. She can go upstairs, she can shut the doors on her work life and really have a space that's her own. Take a look around. So you have <laughs> cookie. A couple great features about Rose's bedroom are obviously her beautiful bed. We gave her some new bedside tables that are at the right height so she can lie in bed and easily access stuff on the side tables. She's got a great new pair of lamps. But one of my favorite features of Rose's room, which is something she really wanted us to do was this tiny live workspace in her actual bedroom. And a, and a desk. And a desk. So oh, I wanted a little desk, a little workspace up here. So now she has a small desk set up that is a desk, but also doubles as a vanity. I get some of my best ideas when I'm in bed, and then I'm like, oh, I have to go run downstairs on my computer, and that's why I wanted a Not little anymore. space in here. You can jump out of bed to your desk. Oh, God. This is amazing. And look. Ah, the second chandelier. The second chandelier. <laughs> Ro is in love with chandeliers. Coming off of her music video, I think she really fell in love with the big, huge, large scale chandeliers that were in that production. So I wanted to bring a little bit of that home. We went sort of all out and gave Ro a much girlier, much more over the top glass and crystal chandelier. This is amazing. I can't believe this is my room now. Oh. And you made that really pretty. One of the big challenges in Rose's room is her large built-in bookshelf. It's both a set of drawers, the, an area for her television, and then there's open shelves built all the way around it. Open shelves, I think, are interesting. They are a problem and a possibility. And the way I approach them for Ro is I didn't want to just put books in them. I wanted to create little vignettes in each shelf that were reflective of who she is. So each of these shelves I think of as like a frame. So inside I'm framing a moment that I think that you would like. Little cute pictures. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Perfect. I love the closet because Ro let me take a little bit of sort of artistic license here. I pushed her a little bit with the wallpaper. She wasn't sure. She picked a wallpaper that works really beautifully with the color scheme in her room. We wallpapered all the walls. We wallpapered the back of the shelves so that it feels like it's transparent, like you're seeing the wallpaper everywhere. And it creates this really beautiful, really cool backdrop for all of her stuff. I love how that looks when you do the back I of the I love shelf. it too. And I really, really like it. This is so pretty. This has like changed my mind about wallpaper. And then when I saw Rose's shoes, it occurred to me like, we need to make these front and center. But I love that you do the shoes up here. I love my shoes. I love your shoes too. Yeah, the same way we th I thought about your bookshelves. Like mm -hmm. I was like, this girl has unbelievable shoes. Let's make them part of the closet design. Chandelier numero trois. Oh my gosh. Yes totally over the top, but it's Rose's personal space. She's the one who gets to see it and enjoy it. And I just think she was really happy with the result. The most important space for Ro is the kitchen. It's really where she does all of her work. She told me she spends 70 hours a week standing in the kitchen. So I wanted it to be something that made her happy every time she stands in it. Open your eyes. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! 
The kitchen in her case is actually her set. So we created an extra seating space with a table. Now you have a seating area. You have new over-counter lights. I love these little salt and pepper shades. These are so cute. You've got these great new shades and they have blackout. So, <gasps> yes. yeah, yeah. So you can close them down. You can have a completely black room. You can light for daylight. You can be shooting in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. No one's gonna know. This is Rose Kitchen. We wanted to bring her personality into it. So we found an amazing French Bulldog cookie jar. So it's Cookie, the cookie jar. <laughs> oh, it's a little cookie. When I saw that, I went bananas because I, ke I can't think of anything more perfect like a cookie cookie jar. It's a cookie jar? It's a cookie jar. Oh, it's just like a little cookie. We brought in an aloe plant because Bro was complaining that she gets burned all the time, so I wanted her to be able to easily snap off a piece of aloe. So <gasps> aloe plant! An aloe, aloe plant. plant. <laughs> I have one of these forever, and I don't know why I haven't gotten around. Every baker should have an aloe plant. I have so many burns, it's not even funny. I have this bad boy. I got that making cookies. And then I have this one, it was taking out a cupcake tray and I just touched just the oven for just a second. And even when you're being careful, that happens when you're a baker. We brought in all kinds of accessories that are inspired by the color palette of cupcake sprinkles. You have lots of great accessories. All these great colors from yellow to teal to green to pink, really making that kind of baking environment. And it really feels like row. So obviously I think great design is really important. I think creating an atmosphere that is really beautiful is conducive not only to work, but also to having a better life. So I wanted to make something for Ro that was really beautiful, that would make her look great, that would make her feel great, that would make her happy every day, whether she's working in the office, hanging out in the green room, or baking in her kitchen. It becomes the backdrop to your whole narrative. If you wanna see Ro take you on a full tour of her home, you can click here. To steal these looks, check out the Kin Store on Wayfair.com.